Hi, welcome to the Public Awareness Campaign on Achieving Customer Satisfaction. This episode is in response to course project in Production Operation Management and TQM, as a BSBA in Information Management System student at AMA University. Customer service is important to every business. For a business to succeed they need to provide good customer service to the customers who buy the goods and services. If the customers are not satisfied the business will not be able to sell its goods or services, therefore no profit will be made and the company may go out of the business. Customer satisfaction relies on good customer service. Satisfied customers will continue to use a business and contribute to its profits. Customer service in today's world is an essential part of a company. With the increasing competition among all industries, the challenge is to deliver high-quality products accompanied by great customer service. This task, however, is not a piece of cake. There are challenges of delivering customer satisfaction and how to resolve them. There are barriers that stops you and your organization achieving the customer satisfaction. However, solutions are in place to overcome those obstacles. One, understanding customer expectations. Problem, the biggest. Challenge is understanding diverse and constantly changing customer expectations. While these customers' classifications may share similar basic requirements of a certain product, they do have varied desires that they take into account when purchasing a product. Solution, talking to customers is the best strategy. It is important for a business to get to know its clients, customers, and consumers. Find out their expectations, their needs, their preferences, their non-negotiables their opinions on the product and their suggestions for improvement. 2. Reaching out to customers. Problem, the primary challenge, though, is to get the message across the clients. Solution, doing research and gathering data on customer expectations bring us to the task of reaching out to customers. There are plenty of ways to advertise and get through the customers. We have print media, radios, televisions, phones, emails, social media and of course, face-to-face -face campaign. 3. Exceeding customer expectations. Problem, it is not just enough to meet the customer's expectations. The fact that these expectations are constantly changing, companies must then be always a step ahead. It is also noteworthy to know that oftentimes, the expectations of customers are set by the competitors. Solution, stay ahead of the competition by being updated with new initiatives and suggestions based on customer feedbacks and current industry trends. Four. Employing skilled service professional. Problem, as more businesses focus on customer service, the demand for skilled customer service professionals is on the rise. Hiring such employees is one thing, retaining them is another. Solution, structured programs have to be in place to teach and train new hires about company policies, values, culture and practices in dealing with customers. Statistical data, proof. Business with operational resiliency ability helped one of the global banking clients boost its resiliency by leveraging the aforementioned framework. This client, a leading full-service bank in North America, had embarked on a sweeping digital initiative with an aspiration to become the best bank in its peer group. One of the key priority areas included significant operational resiliency improvement to address a growing number of outages across several of its critical service areas. Our campaign product is consulting services for business solution model on operational resilience. What is operational resilience? Operational resilience is an organization's ability to detect, prevent, respond to, 
recover and learn from operational disruptions that may impact delivery of important business and economic functions or underlying business products and services. Why it is important. Systems will fail, cyber attacks will be successful, and pandemics will occur. Having a firm understanding of how to minimize the impact of a disruption to your external stakeholders and the broader economy, knowing where your organization's vulnerabilities lie, and developing your foundational elements, for example, cyber, business, third party, and technology resilience, will help your organization recover more quickly and minimize customer harm. Where to start? Effective operational risk management activities such as risk identification, risk assessment and risk management are the starting point in achieving the goal. Identify your critical business services. Building resilience starts with identifying what's most important, including the products and services you offer are most important to your customers, your business and the market. Know your risks and threats. Building resilience is contingent on understanding and managing the impacts of risks and threats to your organization. The events from the recent past have taught that anything can happen, and probably will and the impacts are often unpredictable. Mitigate and respond. Addressing threats and risks needs to occur on a regular basis, before, during and after the crisis. Risk and threat identification. Performing scenario analysis of what could occur, and addressing gaps in resilience are proactive, mitigating steps that are vital to managing negative impacts to the organization. The sources and citation for this presentation can be found at these websites mentioned below for your reference if you wish to dive in further. This is the end of the awareness campaign presentation. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and bye for now.